Aww. Hi, baby. Are you a boy or a girl? Funny you should ask, Sid. One of the first things they check when a new baby is born is what kind of body parts they have. They do that to determine a baby's sex. Most of the time, it's easy to determine, and sometimes it's more complicated. This one has a penis. It's a boy! This one has a vulva. It's a girl! Congratulations! Whoa! Let's hit the brakes, people. The way your body looks on the outside is only part of the story. Huh? What? <sighs> Stay with me, gang. This is important. Hi, little one. Your sex refers to your physical body parts, remember? But there is also something called gender, which is how you feel inside your body and who you know yourself to be. And your gender, how you feel on the inside, doesn't always match the sex you were called when you were born. Okay. Let's say you were born with a penis and you feel like a boy inside. In that case, your sex and your gender match. Well, what if you were born with a penis and you know you're a girl inside? not a boy. Then your sex and your gender don't match. Wait, what does no you're a girl inside mean anyway? Does that mean you have to love pink things and princesses? Nope. Sometimes people refer to things as girl things and boy things, but this is just how people sometimes classify things, usually to make it easier to sell stuff to kids and their parents. Clothes, toys, and games are for everyone. You don't have to be a boy or a girl to like a certain thing. Sid, has anyone ever told you that you shouldn't play with something or wear something because you're a boy? Well, yes. The body parts you were born with don't always dictate who you are, how you feel, or what you like to play with. Ah, that's such a relief. Gender, how you feel and who you know yourself to be, tells you who you are. And there are a whole bunch of possibilities. Figuring out what feels right for you is just part of growing up. <laughs> Bye, little cutie. Um, you might want to change that diaper sooner than later. <sighs>